This is Access Module 5. We're doing an additional video number two, and this one is going to be covering creating a cross-tab query without using the wizard. We're going to go ahead and get back into our clinic database that we've been using for Module 5. We're going to begin by creating a query, cross-tab query, using the wizard. And then we're going to create the identical query without using the wizard. So we'll begin with create and query wizard. We'll choose cross-tab. So we're going to use the patient and invoices query to create our cross tab. We did one earlier in a different video, but this one's going to be slightly different than the one that we did earlier. So, but we are going to begin using queries, patient and invoice. The city field is the field that we want to be displayed in the rows. You can have more than one field in the rows, but the more complex you make these cross-tab queries, I believe the harder it will be to create them without a wizard. So we're going to keep this one relatively simple. On the second screen, it asks us what we would like in the columns. We want to know if our invoices are paid or not. And then finally, it wants to know what are we trying to do. Count up patients, count up first names or last names. Um, in our case, we're going to be summing up the invoice amounts. So we're going to take the invoice amounts and we're going to sum. Now this question over here that says yes to include row sums, we're going to uncheck that. Alright, so with our invoice paid field, there are two answers, yes or no. So there will be two columns of numbers. Invoices will be added up showing whether they are paid or not. Now if I check this box, I would also get a third column showing me the total of all invoices. If I don't want the third column, then I uncheck that box. Go ahead and say next. We're going to leave this name the same. It added a one at the end because we had already created one cross tab query with that other, uh, with that same query as the starting point. So we'll say finish. You can see we got all of the cities, paid or unpaid. We did not get the total. We already went over changing column headings in the other video, so we're not going to be doing any of that in this video. We're just going to look at how to create this exact same query. So if you go over onto the Home tab, you can then switch to Query Design. And now you can see how this is set up from our wizard. And you can see that it has a special row down here called cross tab, and it's also utilizing the total row. Right, so let's go ahead and close this query. We're going to scroll down and find our query called patients and invoices. Do a right click on that and say copy, and then right click again and say right click again and say paste. Alright, we're going to change this. Get rid of the name. We're going to change it to query cross tab no wizard. Alright, so you can see we have a new query here that just got created. Query cross tab no wizard. We're going to open that query up. 
and we're going to switch to design view. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of these fields that I don't need. So if you started from scratch, you would just be adding fields in instead of deleting the fields that you don't want. All right, so we're going to start out by deleting this column for the first name, and we also do not lead, need the last name. What we need are this, these three fields. But we do want to put the go ahead and move the invoice paid into the second position. So you want the fields in this order in the city, the invoice paid, and the invoice amount. Now you can see right now we do not have the cross tab row or the total row. So we're going to come up here on our query tools design tab and in the queries type group we're going to change this to cross tab. That adds both the cross tab row as well as the total row. So now what we have to do is we have to specify in the cross tab row what each of these fields is used for. You can see you have three options in there. You have the column headings, the row headings, and the value that is being used mathematically. So our cities were in the rows. Invoice paid was in the columns. So row headings for city, column headings for invoice paid, and then the last one we use the invoice amount to calculate our values. So now we are then going to change this to sum. And then click run. Now you can see we have the exact same query that we had a minute ago and we created it without the wizard. My personal preference is to use the wizard, but you will have to do it without a wizard in your homework. And that concludes this video.